In this video, we'll learn to interpret nets of simple 3D shapes. So I've got six simple 3D shapes and actually they're nets on this whiteboard. And I'd like you to just think which of these shapes they would make. Is it a cube, cuboid, pyramid, square based pyramid or triangular based pyramid? We've got prism and cylinder so try and match these names with the actual nets of the shapes i've added the names of the shapes now as well so let's start with the first one so this is the net of a cube and we can see it has square faces there are six of them and we know that a cube has six square faces so if i put these faces together i would be able to make a cube As you can see, so going back to the net, we had four faces next to each other at the center. There's two faces on the side. So what would happen if I move this over here or there or here? It'd be the same thing as you can see. You'd become part of the cube so it would not matter whether it was connected here or here or any of the four sides really and if you want I can show you what that means as well so I'm gonna cut it off and then stick it to another side And again, if I try and bring this all together, it still makes a cube. As you can see. So it does not matter whether this face on the side is stuck here, here, here or here. So it can be any of these sides. The same thing happens on the other side. So if I remove this face and I maybe place it here, it would still make a cube. Let me show you that. So it could be anywhere. Putting it together now. And we've made a cube. not a perfect cube but it still is a cube now we're looking at the cuboid what is different now we've got six faces but they are of different sizes so we have these two being the same and these four being the same and that's the cuboid because the cuboid has four rectangles and it has two squares in this case, but it could have all six rectangles as well. So as you can see, we've made a cuboid. Same as with a cube, if I unfold this again, 
and if I try to place this face here, of course I can't place it here because this is longer than this and then this. So if I remove this and place it here, it'd be the same thing and I could do the same with this face. Rather than have it here, I could have it over here. Can I cut this off and turn it around so that this would fit in there? I could do that as well and we'll see that now. So you can see that this falls into this and falls into place but I could cut it off as well and that could be stuck here or here so that's changing the shape of the net slightly and this is a good thing because then we've prepared for all sorts of nets so we can interpret them we can identify them so i'll cut off this other one as well and rather than placing it here i'll place it over here and you see how the net has changed let's see can we still make a cuboid Yes, we can. There is our cuboid. So we'll place it next to the cube. And we'll now look at the square based pyramid. So the center is a square, as the name suggests, square based pyramid. And then we have the triangular sides as well which will form the pointy pyramid at the top so all these four triangles are the same same size and we have a square at the bottom so what else could we see how else could this net be constructed this is the typical shape of a square based pyramid so this is how you'd normally see it and identify it. But of course, these um, triangular faces could be joined together rather than to the square base. And that would still make a square based pyramid. So we'll show you now. If I cut it off the base and if I stick this triangle Next to the other triangle, we've got the same length, these two sides. And sing them together, I could then still make a pyramid. However, as I said, the typical shape of a net for the square base pyramid is this. And I'll put it together to make the pyramid. We'll now look at the triangular base pyramid. As you can see, there are four triangles. Uh, there is a triangle at the base, and we have these three other triangles of the same size attached to the base. So putting these together, very, very similar to the square based pyramid. The only difference is that we have a triangle at the base. So putting these all together will give us the pyramid. And looking at the prism, as you can see, there is a square or a rectangle at the base. We have another two rectangles and two triangles on the side. So putting these together gives us the prism. We could have this triangle over here as well or on this side. And the same thing with the other triangle, just like the cube and the cuboid. Finally, we'll look at the cylinder. So, as you can see, there is a rectangle, which is put together. 
make the center and on the sides we have these two circles so that makes the circular faces of the cylinder now in terms of the position of these circles they could be anywhere either here in the middle or they could be right at the edges and it does not matter because they will all come together to form this cylinder so sticking the faces together will not give us a perfect cylinder but I think we get the idea through this sticking the other circular face and we have a cylinder you can practice this yourself by printing out some nets of these shapes, cutting them out and then sticking together, or maybe unfolding boxes or packaging of different items that you might, might have bought, like cereal boxes, for example.